Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'd like to talk about getting started using shampoo bars. This is a video that I have been meaning to make for a while because when you switch from commercial hair care products over to something more natural like shampoo bars, there is oftentimes a bit of an adjustment and there are some things to know to make the process go much smoother and better. So the first thing to know is that when you switch from commercial hair care products, especially ones that contain things like silicones that artificially coat the hair, giving the look of smooth, shiny hair and moisture, those have to come off when you switch to something more natural. So while you're first using shampoo bars, you can have your hair look kind of dull, maybe a little oily, and that is your hair detoxing. It's getting rid of those silicones that were coating your hair. So now you see those things kind of coming off and it doesn't look the greatest. But once you get through this process, it's gonna be even better. One thing that you can do to help speed up the process of detoxing your hair from commercial hair care products and silicones and things like that is to do a hair detox mask. I have another video, which I'll link below, that shows you how to make this hair detox mask. But it's a pretty simple recipe of bentonite clay, aloe vera gel, and apple cider vinegar. So those just help cleanse the hair deeply of all of those different toxins and things from the commercial hair care products and then you're ready to go with a clean slate. The nice thing about using a hair detox mask like that is that it quickly gets rid of all those things so that you can be done with the detox process in one easy step instead of waiting several days to a week or however long it takes for your hair to just naturally get rid of those things with washings. Another thing to know when you're switching from commercial hair care products over to shampoo bars is that shampoo bars come with a pH level that isn't exactly what our hair needs and that's okay that's not a reason to freak out if you have like medium length or longer hair and you were to use just a shampoo bar on its own then as time goes on you might run into some issues just because of that ph level not always going back to what it should be but there's a very easy way to fix this that actually helps enhance your hair so what i like to do is a diluted apple cider vinegar rinse i either do it with straight apple cider vinegar in water or i have another video which i'll link below also that shows you how to make a really nice herbal hair rinse so it's basically herb infused vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and then you dilute that in water and use that as the rinse. And then you get to use something that has a bunch of extra benefits that are really good for your hair from the properties of those herbs. So either way, fast and easy with just vinegar or making a nice herbal rinse, you'll wanna dilute that and that brings me to my next thing to know is using the right amount of a vinegar rinse depending on your hair type and your water. So this can take a little bit of adjusting at first, but it's usually not a big deal and you usually figure it out pretty quickly. For our water here in Colorado, that tends to be pretty hard. And with my hair, it tends to be finer. It can get oily easier. So just to kind of give you a background of where I'm coming from, I use one pint of water and about a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar. I like to use the organic raw apple cider vinegar because I think that has the nicest benefits, but you can use other types of vinegar as well and they'll work okay. Apple cider vinegar is definitely my favorite though because it does have the best benefits for your hair. So that's the amount that I use. And then I always recommend starting with that and then adjusting. So here's how you know which way to adjust depending on your hair type and the water that you have. So if your hair is turning out too oily, then you're gonna to wanna to use less vinegar. If you are finding out that your hair seems dry, kind of straw-like, then use more vinegar. So use those guidelines to adjust until you get the perfect amount of vinegar for your hair type and the water that you're using. And then keep in mind, if you bring your shampoo bar to another area, like if you go on a trip and you bring it along, which by the way is very handy, a little bar is so easy to travel with it passes all the flying restrictions and everything just fine compared to containers of liquid stuff. It's so easy to, to use on the go. Anyway, if you go to another area to use your shampoo bar, just keep in mind that if you're using different water than you have at home, you might need to adjust that a little bit. I always start off with a little less vinegar 
and then build up. Don't assume you need more right away. Just kind of see how it goes the first time you wash it and adjust from there. It's usually not a big deal. But those are the guidelines. Those are how you figure it out. So what that vinegar does is it resets the pH, it smooths your hair, helps reduce frizz. It also has a lot of really great benefits for hair and then also the hair follicles and the scalp. It can help get rid of dandruff and soothe itchy scalp or any kind of scalp conditions that you might have. So it has a lot of great benefits. And then like I said, you can do the herb and infused vinegar and use that and then you get even more benefits too, like horsetail and different things that have a lot of silica that can help with strengthening hair. So lots of different possibilities there. There are more things that you can do on top of just a simple shampoo bar with a diluted vinegar rinse that can help depending on what kind of hair issues you're dealing with. I have a leave-in conditioner spray recipe that I'll link below also. That's really nice for just a little extra light moisturizing. Another thing that I like to do is to do a deeper conditioning treatment every once in a while and use tallow balm on just the ends of my hair, work it in and let it sit for a little while and then go shampoo like normal. That can really help hydrate the ends, especially if you're growing your hair out or keeping it longer. So be sure and check out that description box for links to those other videos that I mentioned, as well as links to free eBooks and other goodies. I have some free eBooks on making your own DIY skincare, and I'll have links to those down below. I hope that you liked this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any additional questions, leave me a comment below. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think would like it or find it helpful. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.